realize and wake yourself up and realize God is in me. And once you realize that God is it, you move differently. I was putting some clothes in the, in the cleaner, uh, and, and I was, you know, I had to take your, your clothes and put your clothes in the cleaner, and I had put my hand in the one in the pocket, and I pulled out, and I found $20. It changed my... Like now, like now, I'm making some other moves today. Twenty dollars don't mean much to you. I get it, but but for some of us, you find twenty dollars, it literally changed your whole schedule. <laughs> oh, we do okay, okay. So we doing this today. You making phone calls. Uh, <laughs> you walking in the Wendy's like a baller. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we going in today. You know what the problem is? You know what the problem was? The problem was I always had the $20. When I woke up that morning, I had the, when I went to bed that night, I still had the $20. Two days earlier, I still had. The problem is I forgot what I had. So my behavior was based upon what I thought I had. And then I was reminded I have so much more. I can't be defeated. Brother Williams is cocky. I don't care what you say. God is in me. I can't be defeated, and God won't let himself lose. Right. You, know what, you know what it's like? You know what the cross is? The cross is like this. The cross is like a wedding day. The, the cross is like a wedding day. And all of the arrangements are done. All of the flowers are ordered. Uh, all of, the invitations have all been sent out. The invitations have all been sent out. And it's, it's time for the ceremony. It's time for the ceremony. And the Bible says that Jesus is the, the bridegroom, right? Jesus is the bridegroom. It's like Jesus showing up to the wedding and he taking his vows. And he says, I do, and you're not present. Many of you, if the person doesn't show up to the building, you're not finna stand out in front of nobody and take nobody vows because I need to be able to see you. I need to be able to see you. Ephesians chapter two is like Jesus showing up at the wedding day and you don't show up yet. And he go ahead, he says, you know what? I'm, I'm so committed to you. I don't even need you to make up your mind yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it. Jesus, do you take these raggedy, unlawful people? You sure you wanna be in a relationship with these people who ain't even here yet? And the cross, Jesus being on the cross, is Jesus saying, yes, I take them. They are mine. I'm committing myself to them. And Jesus seals the relationship by giving his life. Jesus is going to love the church of Christ like he loves himself. It's good to be in the church. Amen. Somebody said, I want Jesus to love me. Got to get in the church. You know, I want a relationship with Jesus Christ. Can't have no relationship with Jesus Christ. And... He gave, he didn't give himself to just people. He gave himself to the church. Somebody said, oh, I thought he died for the whole world. He died and gave himself to the church because it was in his mind that the world would get in the church. The blessings of Christ, his blood, the covering of Jesus Christ is not outside of the body. When the Bible says he washes us in his own blood because we're in him. My, 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 my organs are filled with my blood, not outside of my body. You could tell the difference. Right? Anything that's of quality takes time. It, it takes time. Have anybody ever ordered something and you just ordered it just for you and they told you it was going to take three to six weeks, not only to make it, but to ship it to you. But you knew that what you was about to receive is not on everybody's counter. 
matter of fact, there's some jewelry. There's some jewelry. If you pay enough, they'll make it for you. They'll, they'll make it however you want. You pay enough. They'll, they'll make it however. But if you're going to do that, you got to know you won't be able to immediately walk out the store. You got to put your order in. Right. Right. You got to put your order. I, I heard in the scripture that the Lord orders our steps. And if he's ordering our steps, then you know that you're going to when you talk about your life, you're going to have some things that you've experienced and things that God has did with you. You go say no 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 I'm hand stitched that's that's what you no 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 you can you can find another person right you know they, they mass produce that but but for me and what God has been doing with me no no this right here is hand stitched ever been in a relationship uh with family or friends or or your spouse and and, and you going on and then they they talk to you about something that happened six months ago and they say, you really hurt my feelings six months ago. And you say, wait a minute. We've been going all this time. And you tell me I hurt you. I can't give no. There's at least one amen in the room. Acting act like y'all know what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. We've been going all this time. And now you want to bring up something I did three months ago, six months ago. And you tell me you hurt. Don't we do that sometimes? Oh, maybe that's you. That's you. You hold it in, and then we don't, we end up we not say we don't say anything. And you know what we'll do? Sometimes we'll just go on, and then you'll beat yourself up and say, "How come I didn't notice that I hurt you?" Because sometimes you can get real comfortable in a relationship, and you'll fail to see the hurt in your children's, your loved ones, your spouse's eyes. And you'd be like, I didn't even know I hurt you. I didn't even know you felt betrayed. I mean, I thought you was acting a little funny, but I just thought, cause you don't like the heat. So that's maybe that's, that's why you was acting like that. You know, I, I know some other stuff at work was going on, but I didn't notice that I had offended you. It's one of the hardest things in church. You can offend a, a brother or sister in church and you won't find out until 20 years later. You forgot to shake my hand. Remember, I remember I put my hand out and you didn't shake my hand. We hold stuff. Now, there's an there's a, there's a issue. There's an issue where, where people need to communicate. But another issue is sometimes you tried to communicate that you were hurt, but they didn't listen. Someone else's words, right? So regardless of how that person felt about you, right? That person may not even like you. I'm talking about your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Oh, Y'all may not even like me. That's irrelevant at this moment. At this hour, hey, mama said, come here. Now. That's what she said. Don't come from me. And if you don't like the way I said it, that's on. But mama said, come here. If your response is, I ain't coming. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. We can go back to mama. Mama. They said they ain't coming. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> then there was anger, right? There, there was anger. Now, why is there anger? My mother's here. My sibling is over there, right? My mother and my sibling never saw each other in that in that moment. They never saw each other. But now there's anger from the mother because to reject my word is to do what? is to reject me. And now you about to get the full wrath of all of the heavenly hosts, right? Because you rejected what is, not just what came from me, you rejected me, right? So, so when he says me and my father in John chapter 14, uh, you read John chapter 14, 15, Jesus is going back and forth. He says, me and my father are one. If you accept my father, Thomas, Thomas says, show us. He said, what do you mean show us? If you see me, you see the father. If you see the father, you see me. We're one. We're, we're not disconnected, right? This is, I'm not just coming from heaven. I am of my father. He says, I am. I am of my father, right? So my words are not an extension of me. My words are me. If that's true, then your words are you.